the biggest fish market in Korea, Ja Gal Chi. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a quick tour around this market and tell you everything you need to know to visit this market. First things first, it is in the city of Busan in South Korea. How do you get here? You can take the subway to the stop Ja Gal Chi. It comes out about three blocks from this fish market. This fish market officially is open from 2 a.m. to 10 p.m., a wide range of hours, but the best time to get here is in the morning. Fish markets are morning places. Best time, probably around 8 a.m. If you're curious what the prices are, they've got signs in the middle of the market that'll tell you the average price in the market for those things. Some vendors might be a little more. This vendor, he says his prices are less. They've got all sorts of seafood here. This vendor has abalone, sea cucumber, and sea worm. They've got to keep the seafood fresh, so the vendors, you'll see them putting water on top of them. Sometimes the fish or the eel jumps out, and so they've got to put it back inside, too. This vendor's got shrimp, crab, lobster. Every stall has a sign to tell you where the particular seafood is from. I mean, you have to read Korean to understand it, but if you do, you'll know that some of it's from Russia, Japan, or What's the local specialty? This vendor has all kinds of shrimp, including huge tiger shrimp. Look at those shrimps. So up here on the second floor, you can see there's a row of restaurants. Each one's got a name and it's got a number. It's well organized. So I mentioned earlier, you can get your seafood downstairs and bring it up here. The way that kind of works is you basically pay a table fee, something like $4 to sit at the table. Uh, and then if you order soups and things like that, that costs more. Now, if you order the seafood from here, where does it come from? They go and get it downstairs to cook it for you. And I don't know, if it were me, I would probably just do that. I would order from them, because I would think they'd probably be able to pick the better looking one, because I don't know what a good sea cucumber even looks like. But what's also really neat, the view. Take a look at the view outside that vin window. I mean, it's amazing views of the harbor from up here. You don't usually have that in a fish market. The other half of the second floor, the side without the great view, has vendors that sell dried fish. So the fish market's really big. I mentioned the first floor is the fish hall. We were in the second floor is the restaurants, but there's more things up higher. Offices on the third and fourth floor. By the way, that's food delivery. They deliver that food to the vendors right there up on their head. It's pretty neat. Uh, but back here, the fifth floor is home to a seafood restaurant, like a buffet. The sixth floor is a wedding hall. And the seventh floor actually has guest houses. You could stay up on the top of the fish market. So when you're done exploring inside the fish market, explore the neighborhood outside the fish market. You can see how they deliver the seafood. They come in these little trucks right here. And they're in these little, almost like water aquariums that they've got the seafood in those trucks as they deliver it to the fish market. So the inside was interesting, but there's fish markets like that all around the world, like Tsukiji in Japan. I really think this outside is even more interesting because I've never been to fish markets that are anything like this. And by that, I mean outside and so low tech. I mean, I think it's pretty classic and interesting to walk around this outdoor market. So make sure you walk down this street too. You really never know what you're gonna find in this market. I've never seen such a big octopus, that one in particular. It's got a huge eye. Sometimes the octopuses get away. And this guy is trying to make a break for it. Yeah, get back there. Octopus. Teach him. Yeah. And if none of the restaurants on the second floor struck your fancy, well, the whole neighborhood outside the fish market has tons of seafood restaurants. And some of these restaurants like here, you can see the seafood, literally seafood. You see it and then you eat it. This is the food that they'll be cooking for you. Those crabs right there, they really want to get out. I think he wants you to pick him. A very traditional food to eat in Korea, and Busan in particular, is fish cake. There's this place called Gorisa Fish Cake, and the way this works is you start, you pick up a tray and you get some tongs, and then they have all these counters that have all this fish cake. You pick your fish cake and then they'll heat it up and cook it for you in the back if you so desire, or you can take it home cold, just like it is. And this thing, like, this is pressed octopus fish cake, spicy pepper fish cake, square fish cake, fish cake with chives, and they've even got samples right here. So you can sample and you can see how you like this, how it tastes. Mmm, very good. 
roasted cheese fish cake, roasted bacon fish cake. I mean, I've never been in one place to see quite so many fish cakes. So now you can see if you come to Busan, this Jagalchi market is a must visit, not just for the market, but the whole neighborhood around here, frankly. Uh, and so if you are coming to Busan, you might enjoy watching some of my travel vlogs on Busan. We visit some temples, some historic sites, some great restaurants. You'll find links right here or in the description below. I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.